Inflammation is a good thing since it's your body's natural response to trying to protect itself. When it's good, it fights off foreign invaders, heals injuries and mops up debris. But when it's bad, inflammation ignites a long list of disorders, arthritis, atherosclerosis, blindness, cancer, diabetes and quite possibly autism and mental illness. In today's video, we will talk about different type of food that cause inflammation within your body so that you can avoid those and do not risk having those triggered within your diet. With all of these, to pay attention to your body's response to them and see if certain foods do cause more inflammation for you. Typically, all these foods cause some level of inflammation, but some of them might affect you more than others. Gluten. Gluten is something that it is particularly difficult for people who are sensitive to joint pain. An autoimmune response for people with the celiac disease in which it causes pain and discomfort can damage small intestine and cause a lot of joint pain. Fortunately, there are gluten-free products available on the market. Just make sure they do not include wheat and barley. Trans fats. Trans fats are some of the unhealthiest foods that you can eat. Unlikely naturally occurring fats that come from plants. Trans fats are artificially created and essentially your body does not like them. Studies suggest that increased level of trans fats in your diet cause inflammation within your adipose tissue, which is your fat tissue. So that's going to cause heart disease and arthritis is going really flare up that inflammation. Trans fat allows pastries and baked goods to be able to stay in the shelf longer and no go bad. Foods to avoid that are higher in trans fats are things like french fries, margarine, pre-packed pastries like muffins and cakes etc. Anything that are particularly Hydrogenated oils on the label have a trans fat in there. Refined carbs. Refined carbs essentially takes a nutrient-rich food and strip it of all its nutrients and then take another piece that has been stripped and gives that to you. And that is what are refined carbs. They also have higher glycemic index score. That means refined foods are going to cause your blood sugar levels to increase more than other food and with higher glycemic index foods that you are going to have increased inflammation. So foods that are high in refined carbs, bread, pasta, chips, pizza, sweets, cookies, donuts, soda, etc. Instead, you can look the foods that have whole grains that are not proceed, fruits and vegetables so you get those vitamins, minerals and fiber that is so essential to your diet. Processed meat. Processed meat are highly associated with obesity, heart disease and colon cancer, stomach cancer etc. Because of how they are processed and how these foods are cooked, at higher temperature, they cause inflammation in our body. Food that are in category would include sausage, smoked meat, deli meat, etc. But not all of these are bad for you. Want to look for the food that contain no nitrates or nitrites and avoid food that are smoked. MSG Monosodium glutamate Monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG, is a flavor enhancing additive that is added to food. It basically is a food additive that easily triggers two different types of inflammation and can cause issues in your liver. Food that are high in MSG include pre packed soup, salad dressing, fast food, 
and daily meals. So often time when you are dining out, you kind of must ask or look for signs that shows you no MSG is added. Always look at the label to avoid food that contain added MSG. Vegetable oil and seed oil Our body requires certain level of omega-3, omega-6 fatty acid. Having too much omega-6 fatty acid can cause inflammatory response. Food that are high in vegetable oil and seed oil like sometimes store-bought salad, mayonnaise, etc. contain a lot of these oil. Avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, all is much better option if you have inflammatory response of vegetable oil and seed oil. Casein Study suggests that casein, which is prevalent in milk and dairy products, can cause an inflammatory response and gastrointestinal issue. Instead, try looking food that contain no casein, that are not dairy related, that are plant based alternatives. Sugar Table sugar, also known as sucrose and high fructose. Corn syrups are highly associated with causing inflammation in your body, which can automatically lead to disease. Sugar is made up of 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Excess level of fructose in your body have been linked to a lot of issues like diabetes, fatty liver disease, insulin resistance, weight gain, obesity, cancer, chronic kidney disease, heart disease, etc. Avoid food that are high in fructose like sweets, sodas, pastries, cake, cookies, donuts, etc. Aspartame. Aspartame is an added sweetener that contains no nutritional value or calories. It is widely used in packaged products, especially those labeled as diet, sugar-free, no or low calorie. Zero sugar. Aspartame is an odorless powder that is white and is approximately 200 times sweeter than sugar. Aspartame have been linked to behavioral and cognitive problems including learning problems, headache, seizures, migraines, irritable moods, anxiety, depression and insomnia. A lot of people body react negatively to it and treat it like it's a foreign substance and they are trying to attack on autoimmune system. Just look for the food that contain no added sweetener or no artificial sugars. If you like this information, share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching this video.